International uh, Pro Star 2010 with the automatic transmission. This truck has a problem uh, <clears throat> when you're trying to uh, put into the drive mode or rear mode or any mode when you fire up the truck. It doesn't want to go into any gears. It's just uh, beeping and making that uh, beeping noise showing that you didn't press the brake pedal um, in order to switch the gears. We mentioned that if the truck parked with ignition on without running the engine, the brake lights, when you're pushing the pedal, when you're pressing the pe uh, brake pedal, the brake lights are working and coming on and off while you're pushing it. But as soon as you will start the engine, um, the brake the brake lights stop working, and you can't put into the gear the truck. Let me show you what's going on. should go to the drive immediately but look what's going on so I'm I pressed I pressed the gear I pressed the brake I'm pushing the drive traction control light comes on and it's giving me three warning lights if I want to do the rear same thing but my I press the pedal all the way no matter how I how hard I press it still doing that and I have air and everything perfect so supposedly something wrong with the uh, with the brake switch so don't try to find the brake switch on the pedal on this truck or somewhere else I don't even it doesn't even call the brake switch uh, they call it pressure switch here's a part number if somebody wanted it's located behind that dash that's why we took all uh, plastic around so we'll take the dash out and um, let me open that pressure switch here you go that's how it looks so we will install that pressure switch because the international say uh, nine of the time times that's a problem because when you press the brake the computer don't understand that you pro press the brake because that switch is not working and that's why you cannot switch the um, transmission you cannot go into any gear so don't go and change your transmission there's nothing wrong with the transmission that's only one that small guy is causing that problem so let's open the dash and see what's behind it so we took the panel out you just take uh, four torque screws out um, this is torque number 15 to take it out and then you got access to your panel you need to disconnect one connector for your light sensor and um, one to three connectors from your dash and then instructions instruction for the part showing you this picture and basically uh, you can mess up because you're gonna see the same setup right here and you feel like you need to change this pressure sensor and it'll be brake but it's not that brake pedal sensor and you see the number start number of the part is finishing 57 57 but the one you looking for is uh 57 35 
so if you will dig inside you will see right there that sensor which is hiding deep inside and it's right there I will disconnect that sensor right here and as I can say if you have the same problem like you pressing the pedal it's not pressing while you uh, trying to shift the transmission or put it onto the gear okay what you can do if you don't have sensor so only one thing the sensor do is um, connecting those two contacts together so if you use a paper clip or the piece of wire and just uh, connect those two connectors together something like this uh, it just uh, it basically will tell the computer that you push the brake and if I connect right now you'll hear the clicking sound give me a second here and if we go outside we'll see that the light is on right now so if you have problem with the with the pressure sensor, you don't have pressure sensor, temporary connect the wire and at least you can drive to the nearest dealer to buy the sensor and uh, you're good to go, you don't have to use a towing. So now I'll install the sensor, it's just easy to install, it's like uh, all air, air, air lines install, you just push the you just push the connector down.